Hello everyone, this video is about uh, uh, oblique lateral interbody fusion uh, which is done in a, a revision uh, failed back spine syndrome uh, for the patient and we did L2, 3, L3, 4, L4, 5 navigated olive. So after the anesthesia, the patient is made to lie in the lateral position as you can uh, see in the images. The, the posterior leg crest, everything is marked and the navigation probe is attached. Uh, you bring in the O-arm and get your scans uh, in AP and lateral views, uh, images, and then uh, you mark the incision site. So place a small incision on the anterior uh, anterolateral aspect of the tummy and you open up the uh, fascia. Once you open a fascia, you need to do a blunt dissection by using uh, artery forceps. The muscle which you can see is the external oblique and uh, then comes the internal oblique and you can see the different crisscross patterns there. You just have to split them open using your artery. Once you create an uh, opening between these two layers, the third layer will be the transversus abdominis and uh, it is very uh, thin or very flimsy in most of the people uh, at this level. and. Uh, now you can see the direction of the fibers of external oblique and internal oblique. So the first uh, muscle is the external, then internal, and then the third layer. And you place your retractor system uh, over there. Once you identify uh, the disc space with the help of your finger. Now here you can see uh, the retroperitoneal fat and we are just doing the blunt dissection and uh, moving uh, everything across uh, anterior, everything will fall across anterior uh, in front of the psoas. Once you, once you uh, palpate the disc uh, space, uh, you just place a marker, uh, you just place a marker and you can use this uh, dilatation tubes to place your uh, retractor system uh, over there. Uh, this kind of retractor system is not uh, a typical uh, metronic olive retractor. This is something else. And uh, yeah, once it is there, you need to be very uh, perfect. Everything has to be aligned. You open up the retractors uh, from these place, identify the uh, disk space. And uh, we don't put any uh, pins into the vertebral body to to hold the uh, retractor. So you take a sharp blunt knife and uh, do the lateral uh, and lateral or anterolateral uh, and anatomy around the soft corridor. And then using uh, various instruments like curettes, chisels, rasp, pituitaries, uh, you just have to open up everything. So here we did the, we did uh, navigation of uh, all these instruments and uh, uh, that's the cob going in along with the navigation probe. You see where exactly you are and then you can tap everything. Go all the way across the opposite side to break the osteophyte. Repeat the same thing with the curates, cobs and take out uh, whatever material is there. So this is the trial which is going in as you can see on the navigation screen and uh, also the uh, directly into the wound. After the disc space is prepared, you just have to put the slider inserters uh, over there to protect the end plates. The cage is loaded with the BMP and then just have to pass your cage in. Once you are all the way up to the midline, uh, middle of the vertebral body, you need to do the orthogonal maneuver and the navigation just gives an idea where exactly you are. Uh, you can do the X-ray uh, based uh, confirmation of the placement of cage in AP and lateral view. And repeat the same procedure for the other two levels. So here we did three levels and these are the X-rays in the lateral confirming the position and this is in the AP view. So once this is done, you can you can put the uh, screws in the lateral position itself because you have navigation probes uh, available with you or maybe um, you need to make the patient in a prone position and then insert the pedicle screws.
Thank you so much.